What's up race fans? We're in Southington, Connecticut at the Petty Cash Motorsports Shop with the newest driver of the 85 SK Modified in Andrew Moeller. A former SK Modified winner, former late model winner, but we hadn't seen you in over a year, so where you been? Yeah, we've been a little MIA from Stafford, if you will. I mean, we, you know, obviously we raced the American Canadian Tour race at the beginning of the season uh, last year, and, and then, you know, kind of just, we weren't at Stafford, you know, we weren't at Stafford as, as I wasn't at Stafford as a driver, we weren't at Stafford as a, as a team, we weren't at Stafford as a fan, you know, we kind of just took the, the free Fridays and, and, you know, used them to our advantage to, you know, kind of relax at home for, for the first few weeks, and, you know, as the weeks went on, right, it's like, man, what do I do with myself on Fridays, you know, the last five years of my life, you know, I'd been at Stafford on Fridays in the spring, summer, and fall looking through the windshield of the race car, so, um, you know, you kind of... I left work one day uh, kind of uh, in the beginning of the summer and was like, you know what, I'm going to go to Stafford on Friday. And, and I went and, and I sat in the stands and I watched and, and you know, it's kind of like, you know, I, I enjoy driving the late model on the weekends and traveling, but I kind of miss being out there, you know, watching, you know, guys like, you know, John Puglio and Todd Owen and Keith Rocco and, and all the guys, right, you know, all the guys I've raced with in, you know, years past go out and, and have success, do well and, and you know, having you know just winning races right it, it makes you miss it a lot and miss you know being behind the driver's seat and not and, you know not wanting to be in the stands right but um so you know kind of as the weeks went on i was just like man i i, I gotta get back to stafford i really want to get back to stafford as a driver so um the end of the season you know last year we we decided we were like you know what we're gonna bring our family-owned sk and and go and, and race our our car and and uh, have some fun did pretty good. We did do pretty well. We uh, we started pretty far back. I think we started 27th. Uh, we ended up with a top 10, finishing seventh. So my car was very fast that day, and you know I'm just very thankful to you know you know when you go back to to a place like Stafford that I have so many laps at in multiple different divisions, it's kind of you know it, it kind of comes back to you pretty quick. You know so uh, you know definitely felt like I never left to be honest with you. So so how did you get <clears throat> partnered up with Petty Cash Motorsports? So honestly, you know, we, we kind of uh, had talked with Petty Cash in the past and, you know, couldn't put something together. And, and finally, uh, over this past uh, winter, it came together, you know, pretty quick. And, you know, they thought that I was going to be a, a good fit for the team. And, you know, I was very happy with, you know, being, being the guy that they chose. You know, there are many great drivers out there that, you know, deserve a, an opportunity. And, and I'm thankful that I was the, the number one pick to to be the driver of the uh, 85. So I can't thank Tick Mike and Ginny and Tyler and JJ enough for believing in me and, and everyone that's part of Petty Cash for believing in me and giving me the opportunity. So what's the excitement like for you now knowing what you got in store for 24? I mean, it's it's huge. It's, it's definitely, you know, very exciting. And, you know, there, there is some pressure too, to be honest with you, right? I mean, you know, every, anybody that's been behind the wheel of the 85 has had some success. You know, we saw Tyler Hines with a lot of success in the first year out. And then, you know, Brian with some success as well. And, and Jimmy winning the Sizzler too. So uh, I know uh, my crew chief, JJ, has a little pressure on me to, to go out there and, you know, have some success in the Sizzler. But uh, I believe that, you know, with a great car that they'll provide me and, you know, um, hopefully bring in my talents as well and being able to go out there, I think we'll be able to have a uh, shot at winning. So you watched a lot of racing at Stafford last year. Yeah. What did you observe with the SK Modifies that can help you prepare for this year? You know, it really hasn't changed too much. It's, you know, very aggressive and, you know, guys are, the competition has tightened up even more. You know, it, it's it's gotten even tighter. So uh, it was, you know, tight before and, and it's even tighter. It's it's definitely very tough. So, you know, just having good heat races and trying to, you know, st you know obviously getting in the handicap right away and having a good first couple of races and, you know, just staying consistent, you know, week in, week out, right? You know, Todd Owen, very consistent. I mean, how many, you're the stat guy. How many consistent, 31? Is it's it, over that. It 30 30 36, 37 now right? this race. So Top 10, being yeah. consistent is what wins championships. Um, and obviously the end goal, right, is to win the championship. You know, I mean, obviously I want to go out there and win as many races as I can, but the end goal at the end of the year is to be, you know, to win the championship. So I want to be the guy that dethrones the 81 and wins the championship. And I think that, uh, you know, with our hard work and dedication all year, I think that um, that's definitely possible. Does your driving style change driving for somebody else? Um, <clears throat> honestly, I feel like I'm a completely different person than the person that left Stafford in 2022. Um, I think that, you know, a lot has changed in my life um, personally and, you know, on the racetrack and off the racetrack. Uh, and I think that my uh, driving style has, um, you know, gotten a little more aggressive, I believe. And, and I think that's for the better. I think that I need to be that way to win races and, and have success at Stafford, especially with the competition. So, um, you know, I, I feel like, um, 
you know, I'm, I'm a totally new driver behind the wheel, to be honest with you. So I plan on, uh, you know, doing whatever it takes to win and, and, you know, be there at the end of the season to win the championship. Well, we're excited to see what's in store for you, Petty Cash Motorsports in 2024, Andrew, and welcome back to Stafford. Thanks for having me.